Okay, hello guys. Today I'm going to show you what vectors is and the compositions of vectors and also the resolutions of vectors. Before we are going to see the vectors composition and resolution, let us see the different physical quantities. So, physical quantities, physical quantities, quantities. can be classified into two. One is scalar quantities, scalar quantities, and the other one is vector quantities, vector quantities, so, or vectors, we can say, and scalars. So, the difference between those two is clear that, see, one by one, and the first one is a scalar, a scalar. A scalar quantities or you can say that a scalar quantities a scalar quantities so this scalar quantities are specified by specified by numbers and and units units they are specified only by numbers and units and they have they have a magnitude have having a magnitude magnitude but no direction no direction they do not have a direction for the scalar quantities the scalar quantities so in this case in this case we can say that the magnitude the magnitude the magnitude does not not depend on direction direction they do not depend on direction only they have a magnitude but no direction so they are also they obey they obey the rule of rule of ordinary direction ordinary algebra algebra they obey the rule of algebra so in general they are specified by a number and units and having a magnitude but no direction they do not have any direction and the magnitude does not depend on direction they obey the rule of uh, ordinary algebra that means you can add or subtract or divide or uh, multiply by the rule of ordinary algebra example mass mass if i measure uh, a mass of something or a mass of uh, an apple that is 22 kilogram so this is the magnitude and this is the unit therefore uh, and this is the number number and this is the unit therefore it has uh, it has a, a, a number and only a unit therefore it has only uh, numbers and units numbers and units therefore we can express this mass that with the numbers and the units only so it does not have any direction it does not indicate the directions of uh, the 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 quantity the quantity and also if i say that uh, a time time 11 hours so this has the number number and this has the magnitude i mean the unit the unit the unit therefore this time has only numbers and units so any scalar quantity can be expressed in terms of numbers and units, no direction and they can obey also the rule of uh, ordinary algebra and the other is volume volume this also if i say that if i measure 
something liquid. For example, if I measure um, a water in a bottle or in a graduate cylinder, a graduate cylinder, a graduate cylinder with something, and if I measure this is or the water, then this indicates that uh, 50 milliliter milliliter therefore we have the number number and also we have the unit unit therefore this volume can be expressed in terms of uh, units and numbers only but it does not indicate the direction of this uh, this volume for example another thing is that speed a speed if i measure the speed of the car that travels from one place to another place and the speed of this car, this car is uh, five meter per second meter per second therefore this has a number number and a unit this is the unit so this can be expressed only in numbers and units or the magnitude and units therefore this only indicates the magnitude and the unit uh, so this is known as scalar quantities so in general scalar quantities only expressed by numbers and units and the the magnitude of this quantities does not depend on the direction the direction now let us see uh, the second one that is the vectors vector quantities quantities vector quantities so we have seen the scalar quantities what the scalar quantities are and how we can express the scalar quantities now let us see what vector quantities are so this vector quantities specified specified by both magnitude and direction and direction direction so they can express it or they can specify it by the both the magnitude and as well as the direction but scalars uh, expressed or specified by numbers and in no direction therefore the difference between vectors and scalars is scalars does not have a direction but uh, vectors have a direction a direction and they avoid they avoid the law of the law of uh, vector or the laws of vector algebra algebra we we cannot add or we cannot subtract or we cannot multiply or we cannot divide vectors as ordinary algebra they have their own rule that is known as the vector algebra therefore the the vector quantities can be add or subtract or divide or multiply by using the laws of vector algebra. Uh, this vector quantity can be changed can be changed if if the magnitude the magnitude or direction direction or both changes changes therefore the vector quantity or any vector quantity can be changed if the magnitude changes or if the direction is changed or if both the magnitude and directions example of vectors example now uh, there are some examples of uh, vector quantities which have the magnitude and direction which have the magnitude and direction for example uh, we can we can say that displacement 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 is a vector qu quantity which have uh, a direction as well as magnitude for example uh, I can say that 20 uh, 20 uh, kilometer 
this is the magnitude and this is the unit now this is not a displacement this is just a distance this is a distance this one is a distance 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 but if i if i uh, if i add that to 30 degree north for example 30 degree north then this is the direction this is direction then this all give us the displacement if i express the magnitude and the direction then it gives us a vector therefore this displacement is a vector which have a magnitude and a direction that example is velocity so velocity is also a vector quantity that we can express in terms of magnitude and direction for example if i say 20 uh, meter per second this is the speed of the car that moves from one place to another place but we do not have this direction therefore this is the speed of the car the speed of the, the car if i add to the waist to waist therefore this is uh, the direction the direction direction so we have uh, magnitude and we have also the direction therefore the total of this uh, is the velocity the velocity that is the vector vector when the vector quantity or any physical quantity of a vector multiplied by when when multiplied by by a pure number pure number then the magnitude changes then the magnitude changes now if if the the pure number is positive positive number then direction will not change will not change change so if it is positive or if the pure number that we are going to multiply the vector quantity is uh, positive then the direction will not change and if if uh, the pure number is negative number then direction will be direction will be reversed reversed so the direction will be changed or if the pure number is negative number then when we multiply it it with the vector quantity then the direction will be changed and it will be reversed if it was to the negative axis or to the negative direction then it would be to the positive direction and if it was to the positive direction then it will be reversed the direction therefore this is how we multiply a vector quantity by a pure number a pure when when the vector quantity this vector quantity multiplied by by a scalar quantity quantity new vector will be formed will be formed formed so this uh, new vector will have different uh, magnitude and also a different unit or different vector quantity from the first vector quantity so for example example if we multiply a velocity velocity the velocity by a time then this will give us a displacement or this will give us 
this will give us displacement. A displacement. So this is different vector. This is vector, vector, and this is a vector. But this is a scalar. So when we multiply a vector by a scalar, then we will have a different uh, vector quantity, different vector, new vector quantity, which is different from uh, the first vector quantity. Therefore, this is how we make, how we can multiply by uh, scalar quantities and uh, with vector quantities, vector quantities.